If you go down to the woods today, you're sure of a big surprise. There's been a love story going on here for some 230 years. It concerns an historic building built by the heartbroken widow of a naval hero. It is, of course, Seven Drews Castle. Hidden in the trees, high on the hill, this 18th century folly was built in 1784 by the widow of Sir William James, the famous sea captain. Like Sleeping Beauty, Seven Drugs has remained dormant for decades. With the help of heritage funding, a local group campaigned to restore her to her former glory. Dr Barry Gray has been responsible for the restorations. When we took on the project in 2002, um, it was in a quite a derelict state. Vandals had got in and put a certain amount of graffiti here, but even more on the outside and damage fixtures on the outside. So it, it was a pretty unloved building as far as the council were concerned. It's been a labour of love for the board. It started as a labour of love, of course, with Lady James, who, who was mourning the death of her husband and uh, uh, built this structure to commemorate his greatest achievement, the defeat of the uh, pirates at uh, uh, Savannah Derg in, uh, in Western India. He was also an MP and uh, a director of the East India Company, so he had several other achievements as well. What a glorious room. What was it used for? What is it called? Well, we've called it the Lady James Room. We've named it after um, Lady Anne James, who commissioned the building in memory of her husband. Originally, it would have been full of objects related to the life of William James. So there was a, his sword was in a case in here. There was a model of his ship that he sailed. Um, and we think that actually the ceiling was actually decorated, probably decorated with scenes of the battles that William James was involved in. And it is rather exciting, in one of the doorways there is some paintwork right back from the original time. Yes, yeah, we think that some, most of the wooden panels at one time would have been decorated in that way. It's actually amazing that it, it survived throughout, throughout the entire time it was closed and um, derelict. Well, Laura, we've come up from the uh, Lady James room to the William James room, and downstairs you said that um, it would have contained uh, many of his artefacts. Do we know where the artefacts have gone to? Unfortunately not. This is something we'd really like to find out. You know, we'd like to track down those objects. Um, we had a few leads. Um, the castle after Lady James died was left to her grandson, Lord Rad Radcliffe, up in Nottingham, um, so we need to kind of follow a few leads to try and track down the objects, but goodness knows where, where they are. Well, I've just been told I've walked up 86 steps to what must be one of the best views in London, and boy, what a view it is.